Hey everyone, it's Shaylee. I just sat down today. I'm getting ready to run some errands. My parents came over to hang out with Golden because I haven't seen her in a while. So I thought I would plop down, do my makeup with the makeup from the haul from my last video, the Ulta haul. I use a lot of that. I use some other stuff too. But yeah, I just am going to go run errands. So I just threw on some makeup. It ended up taking me like 40 minutes. So I talk about how I'm not going to edit it, but I ended up editing it, I'm sure, because it's just going to be way too long of a video. But yeah, I just wanted to make a damn video because it's been like three weeks. So thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Hi everyone. Am I in focus? I think so. It's been forever. It's been like three weeks since I made a video, but we just went through a really hard stage with G where like she just did not want me to set her down. She wasn't having it. So I just was having a really hard time trying to make videos and I was honestly like struggling myself. So I'm making a video today. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I want to use the makeup I got in my last Ulta haul, that was my last video, but also I want to do like a continuous video without cutting it and editing it. I don't know, sometimes I watch people on YouTube and I'm like, I want to see the whole process. So like I might have cut certain things just now and I might later, like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't want it to be too long, but I'm going to try not to cut like the actual makeup. I got this in my last haul, like I said, I finally splurged on it and I love it. It's the Mineral Veil um, from... Hourglass. I just did two pumps and I forgot because I barely ever put on makeup. That's way too much. <laughs> like you only need one. But the couple times I have used this already, I love it. It just makes your skin feel so soft. We just moved G to her crib two nights ago. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I'm like, and I didn't prep anything. Like I didn't get my brushes ready. Okay, like I said, I might cut some things. Like I just looked for my brush for like 30 seconds. I'm probably gonna cut that out so that you guys don't have to see all that. But anyways, yeah, I'm like my big girl. Oh my God, we just moved her to her crib. It's so crazy. She slept so well the last two nights though. So it's working. Man, this is harder than I thought. Like doing this and not talking because my eyebrows, I can't talk. I don't want this to be like the most boring video ever if I'm not cutting it and editing it. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about this. You'll get what you get, okay? I just thought that was a cool concept. Maybe it's not fitting for my personality. You can hear my parents with G. They're so cute. I'm so glad they're back in town. If you're newer around here, you might not have known, but I have a four month old baby girl, golden, and she is just my favorite. But like I said, I was struggling a little bit. We hit like a patch where I felt like she was a little bit harder for me and she wasn't sleeping, she wasn't napping. And I moved my stuff out at work. I like decided, okay, I can't really like go back to work like I thought part-time. It's just not financially like very smart. Um, I did eyelash extensions and makeup. So I'm still like booked for wedding makeup uh, quite a bit this spring on accident actually. I did not mean to book myself this much, but I cleaned out my room that I rented and it just kind of hit like all at the same time. Like my parents were gone, they travel. Um, they don't have a house, they like have a trailer and they travel, so they, did, they were gone. So I didn't really have any like that much help with G. So I was just like home all day by myself, not going to work. She, I couldn't set her down like, I couldn't make YouTube videos when I had just got all excited to make YouTube videos. So I was just feeling kind of like, oh my God, like, is this my life now? And it's so weird because when, like, I'm so blessed and so happy to have my daughter. I hate saying that every time I freaking talk about this because it's like obvious, duh. But I just feel like if you're new here, you're like, do you not love your child? Like, no, I'm obsessed with my child. But it's just weird. Like when you're feeling like that, it feels like that's all that's going on. And if you've, if you've had those feelings, I'm using my NARS, by the way, my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation is what this is called. I love this. I bought this like in February, early February, before I bought the stuff that I did a haul for. Um, but I took back, if you watched that last haul, I took back that Tarte like CC cream or BB cream, whatever that was, because it was too pink. I talked in the haul about like, this looks kind of pink. And I used it once and it was, it was good. Like I can't really remember because I just used it once, but... It was like, you know, $30, $40, and it was not the right color at all for me. But anyway, I took that back, so I'm using this, and I love this. I love their Narrow bottle. I don't remember the names of these, but NARS just, I love their foundations so much. 
the, all the ones I've tried recently I really like. This one's really lightweight, but as you can see, like I used two pumps. I haven't even used it all yet, and I just feel like, I mean, I don't have acneic skin or anything. I'm covering really. It's just about evening out the complexion, but I just, I feel like you can get pretty good coverage with only a little lightweight bit of product, so that's really nice. And you'll see, I'll go back in with my Tarte Shape Tape. So maybe that's why I use such a minimal amount anyway, because I know I'm going to go back with that, and that's really heavy. It's time for that right now. But anyways, yeah, so I was just like honestly feeling kind of depressed. And I would then, because it took me so long to have my daughter, I felt such guilt. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you feel this way. Like, you have everything you've ever wanted in your life. Like, how could you feel this way? And then it's like just this vicious cycle. And it's... It's important, I think, for us to validate ourselves. Like, just because I wanted a baby forever doesn't mean that it's a hard transition to, like, give up everything else in your life. That doesn't mean you don't love your kid. But anyways, I'm kind of running through this because obviously I'm trying to get ready quick and I just want to throw a video up for you guys. But that's where I've been. I'll probably make a whole different video about that because I feel like, you know, a lot of women struggle with that. And so if I can share my story and help anyone to feel like they're not the only one, that's always good. Um, but yeah, let's talk about something more fun now. After this, I'm going to run some errands and I am such a plant freak. Like I have loved plants forever. The last couple years I've been obsessed. I actually started really getting into them. I think it was like something to take care of, like while I was waiting to try to get pregnant but and it's so fun like I'm staring up at this beautiful I'm going to show you right now just because it matches me and it's so cute and this is called a Stromanthi Triostar like look how pretty that is is that real like I just have so many fun plants now <laughs> and so I've also been thinking about doing a plant tour but I'm like Shaylee what is your channel like what the fuck is your channel <laughs> it's like mom stuff now I've always done like mental health struggling with like anxiety I've shared that you know, the infertility journey, um, makeup, clothes, hair stuff. Now you want to like decor stuff. Now you want to do a plant tour. Like, I just feel like I don't want to be in a box. Like no one in real life is just all about their niche, right? Their one thing, like beauty was mine. We have other interests. So the other people following you probably do too. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't that look better? G is sleeping much better, but I still like haven't slept through the night in four months, so I still feel like I have dark circles under there a little bit. So I got that hourglass powder in the video I was talking about. Normally I wouldn't really set with this because it's kind of yellow, like I would use something more pink, but I'll just do this anyway so you can see because I freaking love this stuff so much. And you can, this is my point, is like you can set with this. See how brightening it is? It's like an, it's called ambient lighting powder. It's just a really lightweight glowing powder that's not metallic. It's not like a metallic-y highlight. This was like the first one I have that's like this. All the other ones I have are more like this. I don't know, like I said, if you're even going to be able to tell in here. But they're like a little bit different texture. Like this one's more like, this one does have more metallic to it, I guess you would say. Or this seems more like flat. But anyway, so this is the color diffused light that I just used. I'm so freaking pale right now. It's not even funny. I haven't tanned in years, years, because tanning is not good for you. But I honestly, like, <laughs> I went tanning last week or two weeks ago because I thought maybe, maybe I need some sunlight. Like, you know, I was feeling depressed and like, they talk about how if you live in places like Seattle or, you know, places that don't get much sun, that, um, you know, you get depressed. So I'm like, maybe if I just go to the tanning bed, I went for six minutes and I'm like, didn't even do anything. But I wonder, I wonder if it kind of helped me because I have been feeling better. I also think I just need to eat better. You guys, like, don't you know if you eat like shit, you feel like shit. I feel like with Golden, sometimes it's really easy to just like grab some crackers and like grab, I don't know. I just like grab, you know, cheese and crackers a lot because I love charcuterie board, like Shaley snack plates, you know? And then, so lately I've been trying to like make myself make a sandwich or a smoothie or something. And I did the, that grocery haul trying to like talk about like, okay, I bought this healthy food. I'm going to like, you know, start working out and eat healthy and share it with you guys and lose my baby weight. And I just haven't done that. I need to do all these videos. So 
that's the plan. So I bought this Kylie bronzer in my video, but I used medium dark powder from MAC. It's the mineral powder because I am so light, like I said, and this is kind of dark. Like, do you see how dark this bronzer is on me? I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but in real life, like, that looks pretty bronzy. And um, this is darker, so I'm not going to use this. Like, I am so light right now. It's crazy. So on my eyes, when I'm just, like, running quick errands, I'll just throw on mascara. But I did buy, like, a bunch of these stick eye product kind of things. And so I wanted to use some of it. I'm going to do some eyeshadow is my point. I'm going to do some light eyeshadow. I'm using my modern renaissance palette, and I'm going to use orange soda i'm wearing this adorable pink jacket today obviously too and i feel like that will like make that stand out doing oranges and pinks and purples on my eyes we're going to danny's grandma's birthday tonight so i have to get ready a little bit well, i don't have to but i figure i'm getting ready to run errands and that so might as well make it match my outfit i'm literally wearing sweats on bottom i'm wearing like gray sweats and i think i'm gonna just wear this today i don't even care I've been styling up sweats lately and it's like if COVID did anything, it made me feel like I can wear loungewear 24 seven and that's kind of nice. That's like the only thing good it did. It's like nothing fits me either. Like none of my summer clothes from last year fit me because they were all like maternity by that point. I don't want to wear maternity clothes, but then the stuff from the previous summer is like so tiny. So I'm kind of like, don't have anything to wear. I'm doing like such a quick style makeup. I hope this is not boring, but this is reality. Like who wants to spend five hours on their makeup anymore? Not me, not unless I have like something important. <sighs> the people at the plant nursery don't care. Oh yeah, I kind of got off topic, but that's what I want to do. I have this Ficus Audrey. It's so funny. It's like a fiddly fig kind of, it's a different kind of ficus, but I posted it on my Instagram and I said watering Audrey and my mom thought I like named my plant Audrey, which Audrey Hepburn's my favorite, so like it's not weird for her to think that. But I was like, oh no, that's a ficus Audrey. I bet you no one knew that, and everyone thought I did name my plant Audrey. This color pink rose, or was it rose pink in this palette is so pretty. I did this the other day too and just like tapped it on with my finger and look how pretty that is. So the Urban Decay pencils, the the way I love using them, I'm gonna use Love Drug, which is like a sparkly purple is by buffing them out. Like I don't usually use them and not do anything else besides that. Like I usually, I'll show you. I usually just kind of like line my eye and they're so creamy. So you don't have to like, like when I use a gel liner and I'm doing a wing, I like tug on my eye and you know, this I just like, just to get something there. Just to define your lashes a little bit more. Like a messy line see you could just leave it there and put on mascara but I am gonna set that with powder and kind of buff it out because smoky liner is my favorite I think green looks so or um, purple would look good if you have green eyes and then brown too purple always looks good with brown they have so many pretty ones though like they have honey like coppery colors if you have blue eyes that would look so gorgeous Okay, so I just throw it on there. And then, I don't think I have the palette I like using with these pencils right here. Do I? I do. This is the one I love. It's like, it used to be like $35, it might be more now, but it's the Burgundy Times 9 from MAC. And I don't know, I just feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck with these, I really like these. Um, so I just get a flat definer brush. Oh, my parents are watching The Office, I love it. I can hear it out there. This is Sketch, I wanna say down here from MAC. Yeah, so if you already have Sketch, that's what color this is. It's like a pretty dark purple with sparkle. You don't have to do this, like I said. You could just leave it, but I just like layering. Like, you know, we used our foundation, we set it with powder. We used our concealer, we set it with powder. We use our eyeshadow base and we go in with powder eyeshadows. Using an eyeliner, setting it with a powder eyeshadow. Just to like, everything's layering so it lasts well if your eyes water and then I kind of like start flicking that powder up just to smoke out that line and the cool thing about doing this too is that you don't have to make it perfect because you're making it kind of fuzzy on the edges anyway and smoky now I'm gonna go in this looks pretty whatever this color is I think it might be antiqued yeah it's like a coppery purpley color can you even see what I'm doing 
on a pencil brush and just kind of going over this again to smoke it out more. You just go darker at the lash line a smaller brush and then you go lighter as you move away from your lash line with a bigger fluffier brush. It's kind of the trick. And see how that made that look a lot lighter? I don't know if you can tell, but I'm gonna probably go back with that sketch and that flat definer brush and just throw a little bit more on there so it, it's not so light by putting this antiqued over top. I just like there to be like a, what's that called, like a gradient? Oh my God, I've already been doing my makeup 20 minutes. What the heck? I thought I was doing it so much faster than that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to edit this video. I was also thinking, like, maybe I could put up more videos if I don't have to edit them, if I can do it like this. But no, obviously I talk too much and take too much time on my makeup. Um, speaking of purple, I've been using this forever. I didn't get this in my recent haul, but I always like putting this on bottom. It's it's in the color um, burgundy. It's from L'Oreal The Luminous. It's just purple mascara but I like it because it's a little bit softer than black down here they also have brown I think they have gray they might have navy they've got a, kind of a lot actually this is the best eyelash curler ever um Shiseido this is Giga Black from MAC I've used this forever this is the perm me up one it's like curled do this first and get it all like nice and defined and then I go back with my one of my other favorite mascaras. I feel like I'm so, my husband saw me post on Instagram like four mascaras. He's like, why do you need all those? Like, don't they all do the same thing? I'm like, no, they're all so different. Okay, while that's drying, I'm gonna go back and set and then we'll do another coat of mascara, the voluminous one. But I like to, lately, because I still haven't lost, like I was just talking about all the baby weight. So I feel like my, face is very round and that's where I notice it a lot so I like to kind of carve out my cheeks <laughs> and then my nose is crooked but I've been noticing oh I should have done this before I did all that mascara I've been noticing if I do this and kind of like set it because this side is always darker because I don't know You'll just start to learn your own face. Like, this is always dark in this area. So if I put this right here and then, like, make this go up higher on this side, it looks more straight. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. This is just the Morphe powder in pink. I love this. You you can use this under your eyes, too, like, instead of that hourglass one because this is way more affordable. This is what I usually use under my eyes if I'm just using one thing. I got these for my sister's bachelorette party. Toast to love. Last summer, we all... Got these in our little bags. It's just chapstick, but it's like champagne. The video just stopped recording. I don't know why. Um, hopefully, I don't remember where it cut me off. I was about to put on blush. I got this Buxom blush in my haul. It's the Wonderlust uh, Seychelles. Se I don't know how to say it. But because I'm wearing this pink, I want to put on some pink blush. So I grabbed my Scott Barnes palette. I, I don't think I've ever used this on YouTube. I haven't even used it that much. It's very beautiful, but they have this hot pink blush right in there called rosé and you just need a little dab a little dab will do ya because it's very pigmented I like to smile and because I'm trying to make my my cheeks look a little bit more like lifted and stuff lately I have a really bad habit of bringing it forward I just love I'm gonna take minimalist too to kind of blend this um yeah, I always bring my blush down too much. It probably makes me look rounder, but I just love blush. And I go back with a powder later over the like very last step. So if it looks a little crazy, that's okay. Like we're gonna soften it. Do brow gel now. I love Anastasia's. It's just the one I always use. This is my other favorite. So this is CoverGirl Exhibitionist. And I've been using this for almost two years now. Cami Carter sent it to me when we did like a little swap box video. 
and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing and that was two summers ago almost so I've kept using it ever since it's really good and it's drugstore obviously so can't beat the price I think it's like $6.99 Take off all that powder. So I always like finish off my makeup with MAC Studio Fix. It just makes your skin look perfect. I just love this stuff. I've used it for since I was 16 years old and I'm 32. So like 16 years, right? Is that, am I doing math right? It's just maybe 15. I've used it forever. I just like to put it right in the center. Just to like soften that, all your pores, you know, like that center of your face is where all your visible pores are. It helps soften the edges of your blush. I got in the haul this peyote color and it's so pretty from um, Urban Decay. I hope you can see me this whole time. I just realized I've kind of been like this. Sorry. Let me angle you down. Is that better? Gosh, I wish I would have been like that the whole video. Sorry. Oh, my battery's dying. Good, we're almost done. Lately, I've been loving just using lip liner and chapstick. I feel like it lasts a long time and it doesn't look overdone because I, I tend to like overdraw my <laughs> lips a lot, especially since I haven't gotten filler in so long. But when I do that and then wear like lip gloss or lipstick and I'm not really wearing any other makeup, it kind of looks like a lot on my lips. So I already put chapstick on, by the way. I, it cut off right about that time, so I don't know if it showed it, but I put on chapstick, put this on, kind of leave it. It's not even right there. Oh, shoot. Hopefully that looks right. And then... Once my lips get chapped again, I put on chapstick again and it kind of like brings it back. I feel like that's everything, right? I'm not going to wear a highlighter today, I don't think. Sometimes I'll just throw on, this is Luminoso from um, Milani. And it's just this really pretty like peachy color, but look how shiny it is. So I'll just like put that on the tip, or the, the apple on my cheek, the tips, what the heck. You can also use your like hourglass powder. I kind of do that same thing right there. I'm just going to go back with that under eye powder just to get anything that fell down. And I want to do this too. Kind of blend our bronzer. I'm going to use my trusted Morphe I don't think I'm going to do my hair today. I have a pink hair tie in. I mean, that's, that's enough. <laughs> All right. So that is the makeup. I hope you liked this. I feel like the makeup I do now, let me move you up again or back you up. I feel like the makeup I do now is so much more wearable <laughs> than the makeup I used to wear. Like in the beginning of my channel, I did like hot pink eyeshadow. So hopefully you guys like this because it is a little bit more wearable if you're not so comfortable with color and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you um, liked seeing the products from the haul in use. Let me know because sometimes I feel like it's it's one thing to just be like, I just bought this, but it's another thing to see how it actually goes on and works. So I like that kind of video. Let me know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you very soon, hopefully. Hopefully, not three weeks again. And um, yeah, just thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.